Hi there friends, namaste. I'm Jill Loftus of Nuit Astrology. This is gonna be a video on Void of Course Moon. So I have mentioned this before, um, you know, when I give my forecasts, or you may have seen in an astrology calendar, um, a time and V slash C, right? V as in Victor slash C as in cat, Void of Course. And this is an indicator that the moon is void of course. What does that mean? It simply means that the moon has had its last interaction with another planet and is floating along <laughs> before it moves into a new sign, right? When this happens, the moon is said to be slightly debilitated, not in her full power, right? She's used to interacting with others, right? The moon is very much a, a reflective planet, right? And so when it loses its interactions with others before it moves into the new sign, it's considered to be, um, uh, again, not as empowered. It tends to be a time where you lose traction. It tends to be floaty. It tends to be great for inspiration or meditation or, you know, a walk, some creative writing, you know, music, things like that. But as far as um, signing contracts or um, things that require dedicated thinking or initial actions on something, it is not recommended to do that when the moon is void, of course. Now I'm bringing this up because um, we have coming up several uh, days of very extended moon voids. You know, sometimes it can be just, uh, you know, for a half hour, 20 minutes. Sometimes it can go on for 12 hours, right? And so it's important to know this. And I have a great little story. I've alluded to this in one of my previous videos, but I, um, void of course moon is, for example, let's say um, if you're picking a wedding date, you want to make sure the moon is not void. You know, you're starting, you know, you're launching your business, right? You want to make sure the moon isn't void. Signing a contract. I used to own a yoga studio. Um, and so we were having an extreme conflict with my landlord. Oh, what, a, what a story that is. But um, finally, I was like, well, what do you want us to do? Move? And he was like, yes. Okay, great. So I had to re-sign a new contract um, setting a date of our move, right? Um, and so I headed down there to the lawyer. I was leaving the country the next day. I was in a big rush. I went down there, signed the contract, went on my way. And it wasn't till uh, days later that I looked at the calendar and realized I had signed it during a moon void. So what happened was I signed that contract, right? And I had to be out, but I was unable to find another location before the contract expired. I had a frantic search for a new place um, that ended up, I ended up being temporarily housed for several months. A, a very generous local gym owner heard of our terrible plight um, and uh, cleared out of one of their rooms so that we could use it. Um, that said, it was not ideal. <laughs> it was not great. Um, it added an additional move. In addition to moving from the space we were, we had to move into the temporary space and then eventually move from the temporary space into the final space, um, which of course encountered many, many delays and did not, uh, did not go according to plan, right? So that's my moon void story. So I do recommend that you pay attention to the moon voids when you are um, engaging in something serious, you know? Um, and those are listed, you know, if you have an ephemeris, they're listed. Um, quite often people's forecasts will include them. Um, I uh, try to include the long ones in, especially my written uh, blogs that I include on the website. So be sure to check that out. So now you know what a moon void is and pay attention to the ones coming up end of March and April. There's some big long ones and you wanna, you wanna make sure you spend that energy appropriately and um, don't, get, uh, don't get stuck without a place for your business. <laughs> All right. I hope you found this useful, helpful. Please share. Please like. Please um, uh, comment below. Namaste.